Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're discussing log files on our Hikvision NVR. We have a basic setup here with an IP camera connected to the rear and a local monitor connected to the HDMI. First, we're going to show you how to export via the local monitor. So the first thing we have to do normally is uh, to log on. So let's put our pattern in and get logged on. Right, now we're logged on. We need to go over to the maintenance tab and then down to the log information. And what we'll see here is a grid where we can select time and dates um, from where we want to scan to. So I'm just going to alter the from time. So we're scanning from 7 a.m. Uh, and I'm just going to alter the end time uh, down to around about 3 o'clock or so. And we just press OK on that and we click search and this shows me all the events between them two times. So if this is what we want, we could just immediately click export and we're now asked to export it to a location. Uh, the USB stick is where we normally do this. So let's stick in a USB stick now. Here we go. And once that's in, give it a second or two and we can click refresh. And up pops the USB stick. You'll see it says USB flash disk one. Uh, it has our already has a folder on there. We can create some new ones, but we're just going to go ahead and export that data. And there we have that data has been exported to a file on the USB stick. The name of that file is there. It's a text file, and we can click back, and you're back into the same operation. We can narrow it down again. We can narrow it down by operation. So let's click all the logins and all the uh, stuff like that and we can search the same time here for just logins if that's what we want to check for right I'm now going to take you through getting the log files via the local browser so the MVR is connected to our network we need to log in as normal but then you use the password and log into the MVR um, once we're logged in we go over to the configuration menu and wait for that to load uh, and then we go down to the system menu, go to the maintenance sub menu, and nip over to the log menu. And we've got the similar sort of thing happening here. We can immediately press search, and that'll tell us all the events for today as default. Uh, we could immediately export that. But I'm going to narrow it down again. I'm going to narrow it down to an operation type. And this time I'm going to pick uh, remote PTZ. So I'm going to go and scroll down and find it just to see if I can check if anybody's moved to PTZ remotely. Uh, I'm going to change the date as well, so I want to check from last week, see if anybody's moved it from last week. And there you have it. Uh, you have a, a log of users and their IP addresses from where they tried to move the PTZ. We, we need to export that, so let's go ahead and export it. It comes down as a log.txt file, uh, and as it says, it's a text file. It is just a text file, contains text. And we can immediately email that to tech support or analyze it further. We can also use this log file to check if there's been any external alarms. So I'm just going to go and change the type again uh, from alarm. And I'm going to go and find my external alarms that are connected to the MVR or the network in this case. Uh, and there we go. There's the alarm host. And I can again pick the period and do a little search. Uh, and there you are, that's uh, so all the alarm host events that have happened on the MVR. And of course you can go ahead and export that. Hope that was useful. Thanks for listening.